Today we're gonna to talk about Instagram verification. What is it, do you need it, and how to get it? Coming up next. So what exactly is Instagram verification? Now, if you're using Instagram at all, you've probably seen on some accounts that little blue check mark next to the username. For a lot of people, this is something that they just absolutely have to have. It's a status symbol. It's uh, you know, kind of that, that uh, badge of pride or a badge of honor that they have on their account showing that they're Instagram verified, they're really cool, you know, Instagram loves them and people love them and they're, they're a verified account. So is it really necessary for a small business to be verified on Instagram? Now, if your entire goal is just to uh, grow to a level where you get that blue check mark and that's kind of like your arrival point, now you're happy, this is what you wanted, you're clearly marked as kind of an influencer, then sure, then, you know, take, the, uh, take the steps and the effort to get there. But as a small business, is it truly important to you? Essentially, does this blue check mark on your name actually create more sales or more opportunities for sales? You know, that's something to consider. Now getting a, a blue check verification or this Instagram verification uh, is not really a difficult process. What's difficult is actually qualifying. Now back in the day, it was one of those things where you could just wake up one morning and pull up your Instagram, throw open the app and go, oh my gosh, I'm verified, I got my blue check mark. All Instagram did was their algorithm kind of hunted down, where is there a lot of engagement, who has a lot of followers, are they posting a lot, uh, and it just kind of arrived, you just kind of showed up. And what that ended up causing was a bit of a black market for this blue check verification. You know, there's reports of, pe uh, of people paying upwards of $10,000 to a friend of a friend that knew somebody who worked at Facebook or Instagram and was able to verify the account and they took a cut and then your friend of a friend took a cut and you were, you know, you're just paying an incredible amount of money for this verification. Problem with that is one, it goes against Instagram's terms of service because that's ridiculous. And two, if Instagram ever found out, they just took the check mark away and you're out five grand or you're out 10 grand and you're no longer verified. Even worse, they may have just straight deleted your profile. So Instagram a couple of months ago decided to change this up. So instead of just kind of being at the whim of the algorithm, now you have an opportunity to apply and you can apply your profile uh, and kind of put this into the running to get this blue check verification. Now there's still a lot of misinformation out there and there are still some agencies or some, uh, some black hat companies and individuals that are still preying on small businesses, uh, influencers, you know, people that want to grow on Instagram, they're still preying on them and saying that they can guarantee blue check verification. And if you pay them, you'll get it. You can. Now maybe you would be able to find someone who still knows a guy or still knows a girl that works there and is willing to do this and things like that, but you're still running incredible, incredible risk of just losing your money, never actually getting verified, or worse, having your profile deleted, especially after a lot of time and effort. That could be a, a, just a critical error, a real problem for a business or an influencer. You just lose everything and you start over. So there's not a good reason to do that. Now that misinformation and these brands and businesses that are trying to sell verification, they're out there. You can Google it, you can uh, look them up online. Half the time they'll come to you or they'll send you uh, DMs on Instagram, swearing up and down that they can get you verified. I'll let you in on a secret. All you have to do is pull out your phone, open up the app, go into settings and go through the verification. All you're doing is applying for it. That allows Instagram to review your application and then decide whether or not you need to be verified. Now, just because it's a simple process does not mean that it's easy to get verified. Instagram has a couple of different rules that they try to follow, a couple of guidelines that they try to use in order to ensure that they're just not verifying everybody. All right, if every account has a blue check, then it doesn't even matter anymore. That's the issue that Twitter went through. They were verifying just about everybody and now, for almost a year now, they've shut down their application process for verifications because it just got so out of hand. So Instagram's pretty particular about this. You need to be, uh, you need to have a large following or at least large enough and, and a large enough engagement to make it look like there's some value associated with your profile. Don't take this as the idea of I need to buy followers or anything like that. Buying followers is an incredible way to get your account deleted and there's zero value there. The number doesn't actually matter. In fact, Instagram is testing in uh, Canada, getting rid of uh, actual follower counts. 
So you look at an account and you're like, do I want to follow this, uh, this profile? Yes or no? Not based on, do I want to follow this profile because four, five, six million other people also follow it. So follower accounts, you know, if that test goes well, that's not even going to matter. So don't buy followers. It's, it's incredibly unimportant and it can hurt your account. But do you have a decent engagement? That's a lot of what they're looking for. Beyond that, is there a viable business reason to verify you? And this viable business reason, what they're looking for is, is there a risk to you or a risk to people that follow you that they would accidentally get you confused with a different profile? Right? Is your profile extremely similar to another? Or worse, is another profile stealing your content or pretending to be you or things like that? You know, uh, for our Marketing 360 Instagram, we're a verified account. And that was a process that we had to go through because there were a lot of people that were stealing our content, not giving us credit back for it, uh, or even worse, pretending to be us. Some were based here in the US, some weren't. They're just all over the place, stealing our content, pretending to be us. And that was a really big problem. So we wanted to go through the process of actually getting verified so that when someone goes to our Instagram, Marketing 360, they're able to understand that with that blue check verification, we are who we say we are. Anybody else claiming to be Marketing 360 is not, right? And it gives us more control over our content and more control over uh, that peace of mind that users can see. Now, if you're a plumber in New Jersey, do you need to be Instagram verified? Maybe not. At the end of the day, does that verification equal more business for you? Now, it may equal more business for us, possibly, you know, is there really value there? Well, for us, we just want to make sure there's trust and trust can uh, infer value down the road. More trust equals more sales. But for a plumber or an electrician or even a, you know, a gym or an influencer or something like that, you always have to really consider, does this blue check really matter? You know? And if you're going to go through all the effort and the energy of trying to get it, growing your account, growing your engagement, you know, making sure that people aren't trying to spoof or steal from your account, things like that, all you're really gonna do is find that you've got great value, right? And the blue check may come naturally or you may apply for it down the road and see more value out of it, but keep in mind that that shouldn't always be uh, the absolute end goal. The end goal of Instagram really at the end of the day just needs to be, am I providing great value and am I seeing the engagement that proves to me that my users are also seeing this great value? So when you're going through this application process, yes, you need to have a large follower count or, or a large enough, uh, you need to have engagement, that's significantly more important. There needs to be a business use case scenario as to why this is important both for your company and for Instagram. Are you being spoofed or stolen from? Uh, are there other fake accounts out there pretending to be you? And then there's also this little bit of ambiguity. Does Instagram believe that there is value to them to verify you? If they verify you, will that increase the trust that their users have in Instagram or Will your profile be able to bring in more users, more people that are consistently coming to the app, consistently engaging with your profile and others, and at that point, also seeing ads, right? Because there's a, at that point, there's a revenue example or a revenue reason for Instagram to want to do that. So all those different scenarios kind of go into this whole application process. So keep that in mind. You know, it's not just, I want the check mark. It's, is there a reason for me to have this check mark. All right. So there we go. Now you have it. You know, do you need the Instagram check mark? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It's really up to your business. Big thing here, don't fall prey to these companies that try to steal from small business and steal from influencers trying to say that they can sell you or guarantee you a check mark. They can't. We get this question all the time, can you get me a blue check mark? And we'll tell everybody, no we can't. But we'll help you on the path to get to a point where it makes sense. Can we guarantee it? No. Anyone who says they can, they're lying. So keep all that in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've got questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. We love your questions. We try to get them all answered as fast as we can. If there's other videos you'd like us to create, just let us know and we'll create some more videos and talk on these topics some more. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing, and happy marketing.